Digital Humans, Revolutionizing Cultural Heritage Preservation and Engagement. In recent years, the intersection of advanced technology and cultural heritage has given rise to a fascinating development, digital humans. These virtual entities, powered by artificial intelligence and sophisticated computer graphics, are reshaping how we preserve, present, and interact with our cultural legacy. This paper explores the multifaceted applications of digital humans in cultural heritage, examining their impact, benefits, challenges, and future prospects. Digital humans are computer-generated characters designed to mimic human appearance and behavior. In the context of cultural heritage, they serve as interactive guides, historical recreations, and custodians of traditional knowledge. Cultural heritage, encompassing both tangible artifacts and intangible traditions, forms the bedrock of human civilization's collective memory. The integration of digital humans into this domain represents a significant leap forward in our ability to engage with and preserve our shared past. The technology underpinning digital humans is a complex amalgamation of artificial intelligence, machine learning, computer graphics, natural language processing, and voice synthesis. Companies like Huawei Cloud's Meta Studio, and Sailing Power have developed advanced platforms capable of creating highly realistic digital avatars. These avatars can engage in natural conversations, display appropriate facial expressions, and even adapt their appearance to suit different contexts. The applications of digital humans in cultural heritage are diverse and continually expanding. In museums, Air-powered digital guides like I-11 at the National Museum of China are transforming the visitor experience. I-11 can introduce the museum's vast collection of 1.4 million artifacts, offering personalized tours and responding to visitor queries in real time. Similarly, the Guangdong Intangible Cultural Heritage Museum has introduced air-powered digital humans to bring cultural exhibits to life, offering detailed knowledge about the region's intangible cultural heritage. Historical figure recreation is another compelling application. The Genghis Khan AI Digital Human Project, initiated in 2019, aims to digitally restore the 3D image of the Mongol leader, who had only been represented in portraits for 800 years. This project not only pushes the boundaries of technology but also offers new insights into historical personalities. In France, an interactive AI avatar of the poet Arthur Rimbaud, called Bonjour Arthur, allows visitors to engage in conversations with a digital version of the famous poet at the Arthur Rimbaud Museum in Charleville, Mézières. Digital humans are also playing a crucial role in preserving indigenous cultures. In China's Guangxi region, Sanjiang Dong Autonomous County introduced the first Dong ethnic digital human at a cultural tourism promotion event. This digital human, created using advanced AI and computer graphics, realistically represents Dong culture, featuring traditional attire, makeup, and facial features. It can engage in natural conversations, helping to preserve and promote the unique cultural heritage of the Dong people. In the realm of tourism and cultural site promotion, digital humans are becoming powerful tools. Liathefan, created by Galatasaray, one of Turkey's most prominent sports clubs, represents the world's first digital fan. Leo embodies the passionate nature of Turkish football fans, bridging traditional fan culture with digital innovation. In Italy, a controversial campaign by the Ministry of Tourism featured a modernized, digital version of Botticelli's Venus as a virtual influencer, guiding viewers through Italy's cultural attractions. Educational applications of digital humans are particularly promising. The Mario de Andrade House Museum in Sao Paulo, Brazil, plans to use AI to allow visitors to interact with a digital recreation of the influential Brazilian modernist writer Mario de Andrade. This approach makes literary heritage more accessible and engaging for contemporary audiences. Digital humans are also being employed to preserve endangered languages and oral traditions. By creating virtual speakers of rare dialects, 
cultural institutions can archive and teach languages at risk of extinction. Similarly, digital humans can perform and demonstrate traditional arts, music, and dances, ensuring that these intangible cultural assets are not lost to time. The benefits of using digital humans in cultural heritage are manifold. They offer enhanced engagement and interactivity, making cultural experiences more immersive and memorable. They provide a cost-effective and scalable solution for preserving and disseminating cultural knowledge, potentially reaching global audiences. Digital humans also allow for personalized learning experiences, adapting their content, and interaction style to individual users. However, the use of digital humans in cultural heritage is not without challenges. Questions of accuracy and authenticity arise when recreating historical figures or representing cultural traditions. There are concerns about cultural appropriation, particularly when digital humans are created by entities outside the culture they represent. Data privacy and security issues also come into play, especially when digital humans collect and process user information. Additionally, there's a risk of exacerbating the digital divide, as access to these technologies may not be equitable across different regions and socioeconomic groups. Looking to the future, the potential for digital humans in cultural heritage is vast. Advancements in AI and graphics technology promise even more realistic and interactive digital humans. Integration with other emerging technologies like augmented and virtual reality could create fully immersive cultural experiences. There's also potential for digital humans to facilitate cross-cultural exchange and understanding on an unprecedented scale. In conclusion, Digital humans represent a transformative force in cultural heritage preservation and engagement. They offer new ways to interact with our past, preserve endangered cultures, and make cultural knowledge more accessible. However, as we embrace these technological innovations, we must also grapple with the ethical implications and strive to maintain the authenticity and integrity of the cultures we seek to preserve. The future of cultural heritage in the digital age will likely be a balance between technological advancement and cultural authenticity, opening new avenues for exploration and understanding of our shared human heritage.